Okay, I'm just going to do a quick drive-through of the uh, St. Andrews State Park, just so that you can get a feel for it. The uh, half the park is approximately, well, the half of the camping area anyway is pretty much barricaded off because of the uh, storm damage. So there's. Um, Yeah, well, you can see it down there. Most of that's closed off. There's a few people down there, but um, a lot of it's really messed up badly. Um, there's a bunch of uh, sites that are over here against the hill to the right, some in the middle, and a, and a few on the water. Uh, we were lucky enough to get one on the water. Well, there's a number of primitive sites without electric or hookup or, you know, sewer or any. Well, none of them have sewer. Um, there is a dump station. So, anyway, but they all have water and electric, 50 amp and uh, 30 amp. And then uh, right over here to the right is the uh, bathhouse, um, shower and bathroom. Um, some of these in the middle, it, they even have large concrete pads. The dump station's right here on the right. And then uh, over here on the left is um, the bay. And um, if you're lucky, or you time it right like we did, you can get a spot right on the water. So it's, um, it's pretty good. Pretty good place to be. Pretty, pretty lucky. I think it's a nice spot. And um, right outside the campground is the rest of the state park. There's trails. There's a um, municipal boat launch facility. And um, there's a lot of trees down, but none of them are blocking the road. They've cleared all those. But obviously, a lot are down in the woods around here. Nearby is a small lake. They call it Gator Lake. And there's a, we haven't seen any gators there. It, uh, it ought to be called Heron Lake because there's a heron rookery there on a little island. And um, a lot of birds. So, anyway, it's a really cool area. Um, you're, there's a gate and you can, to, to the city park. You can't get in here without a pass, so it's, it's pretty secure. Um, down here is the boat launching facility. And it was, it was storm damaged. Part of, the, part of the pier out here, part of the jetty is just gone. Um, but uh, everybody still uses it. So... And then down here, they have some commercial, uh, a commercial dock that they do tours, um, going out on the bay and taking people fishing, or you can rent a boat or whatever. And then over over here, they also have kayak rentals, just about 50 yards to my right. They have kayak and, and all these different rentals. You can rent them by the hour, by the day. And, uh, so it's a, it's a really great place. Anyway, that's it for now. If you get down here to Panama City Beach, this is a great place to try it. I mean, it's it's half the price of all the private places. We'd pay $28 a night, and for a full hook, a hookup site right on the water, um, I think it's well worth it. it. I'd definitely give it, you know, five out of five. Um, it's just wonderful, if you get good weather. Anyway, that's it for now.